Hi everyone, in this video we're taking a look at Linux Mint Debian Edition, the 64-bit version using the GNOME desktop. So I'm looking at it in VirtualBox, sadly with the older kernel version on it, I can't do a full system install on my system. Right, so looking at desktop, it looks very like a standard Mint installation. We've got a nice brushed aluminium effect installed on the Mint menu. Desktop background, the usual sort of minty theme. It's good that it shows it's Debian edition there with the little Debian logo. On the fonts we get the Ubuntu font included. Again, I quite like that. The Ubuntu font is a very nice font. We'll take a look at what we get installed. So starting in the accessories, so we've got the archive manager, so open all sorts of zip files, zip, uh, tar.gz, etc. I've got calculator, character map, gedit, root terminal, search for files, take screenshot, terminal and tomboy notes. In graphics we've got Gimpy, Gfum, LibreOffice Draw and Simple Scan. Under internet we've got Firefox, which is an older version of Firefox. Is version 5. The next Mint Debian edition is a rolling release. It appears to be like a rolling release that's six months out of date. Anyway, back to the applications we get. So we've got Giver for transferring files over your network, a GNOME PPP dial up, Mozilla Thunderbird for email, Pigeon Internet Messenger, transmission for downloading torrents, and XChat for IRC chat. On the office we've got LibreOffice and Dictionary. We should open up LibreOffice, the writer. And it's compatible with Microsoft Office up to version 2007. Under sound and video, so we've got Banshee for media player, uh, Brazio for burning CDs and DVDs, GNOME M player, movie player, which would be Totem player. Uh, M player again, sound recorder and VLC. Take a look at Banshee. It should come with the uh, Banshee store, which donates some money to the GNOME Foundation. So yeah, that's the Amazon MP3 store. They've got rid of the Ubuntu store, or in fact, more like wouldn't include it because this is the Debian edition and not built on Ubuntu. Although it does have a few useful applications and features from Ubuntu. System Tools, uh, Configuration Editor, you edit your configuration database, it's probably a bit of an advanced feature really. They're quite handy because you can edit loads of apps from one program. So Disk User Analyzer, Disk Utility, File Browser, GW Package Installer, Log File Viewer, Network Tools, New Login, so Login is another user without logging out. New login window, system monitor, and a system profile or a benchmark. Look at the system monitor, you can see it's, um, it's about 350 meg of RAM in use. A better chunk of that is because I've got Firefox open. I'm sure enough if I was to look at memory. Oh, a Banshee, yeah. Banshee's a culprit this time. So between Banshee and Firefox, what's that? It's about 100 meg there. So a standard Mint Debian edition will be about 250 meg RAM, with nothing much running. Right, under administration, quite a few things here. So we've got a backup tool. So we've got the Mint backup. And right, the domain blocker. So I've added a blocked domain in for Google. And sure enough, if we open up Firefox and go to google.co.uk, ah, unable to connect. Not completely foolproof, because if you put the IP address in for Google, it'll go straight there. That's a good way if you want to block your children from trying to visit certain websites. Although, as I said, it can be easily circumvented if they know how. I could think of certain ad websites that would be useful to put on that domain blocker. Stop some of the junk coming down into your computer. Make browsing a bit easier, wouldn't it? Anyway, back to this. So we've got a firewall configuration, GPART head, login screen, I think configure the login screen behaviour, network setup, printer setup, uh, services, the software manager, which is the Mint software manager, 
which has the application ratings and reviews on it, as well as some nice graphics on the icons. There we are, if you look at Rivenbox, as you can see it's rated and there are a few reviews on there. Moving on, so we've got the Synaptic Package Manager, Time and Date, Update Manager, Upload Manager, Users and Groups, and in this wrapper for adding Windows wireless network card drivers. Take a look at the Update Manager. So yeah, no updates available, but I know quite a few things are out of date there, and particularly Firefox being on version 5, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite out of date now. So there's a bit of a downside there, it's not the most up to date system. No. So that's Linux Mint Debian Edition. They've got a GNOME 3 system based on based on Debian. It's slightly easier to use than the standard Debian system. And you've got a classic style desktop, will be with the uh, the Mint menu. Still got the easy to search thing on there, so you can just start typing so Firefox, brings it up quickly. So it's a bit disappointing though if whilst it being a rolling release, it's not the most up-to-date rolling release. In fact it is quite bad on security really if it's running an out-of-date web browser you can't update through the default repositories it's a fairly good system otherwise um, so thanks for watching see you later